Now here we have a 2011 Harley Davidson 1200N, the Nightster. My friend has just bought this bike, so I thought I'd go do a quick uh, summary of my thoughts on it. Spent the day yesterday riding it down, a couple of hundred kilometres, bone stock it is, hasn't been touched. Now, I haven't had much experience riding Harleys before, um, so the first things I noticed when I hopped on it was it is heavy, but you don't really notice the weight because it's all very low. Um, riding out of the shop straight into the city, it was one of the easiest bikes I've ever ridden. Um, very, it felt very manoeuvrable in the traffic and you can totally see why in other countries these are uh, often used as a learner bike. Style wise, I mean that's up to, you, up to your own taste but I personally quite like it. Obviously the owner's going to spend thousands of dollars customising it. So I thought I'd just show you this one in stock. This is how they come. Reflectors and all. The first thing I think that needs to be addressed if you were to buy one of these bikes is the suspension. Um, for a few thousand dollars you could totally transform this machine and I, I do hope that the, the owner of this machine does that. And then of course move on to the exhaust pipes. So we may as well just start it up for you now and uh, hear these stockers run. Four hundred and twenty kilometres on this one. When you turn the bike off, it's got its own alarm system, which I think is quite cool. You turn the key off and remove that. And uh, it's got the little transponder thing in it. So we'll just uh, show you what it does. If you mess with it without the, without the key. It'll just give a warning first off. I'm not going to set it off properly, but you get the idea. So I found this bike very enjoyable to ride on the open road, apart from the inadequate suspension. Uh, with the low weight, it was very easy to ride um, at a fairly brisk pace. The, the first thing that slows you down is the ground clearance. <coughs> um, the pegs will touch down quite early, as you can see there. And, uh, the exhaust pipe shortly after on this side. Um, I noticed the front tyre, the standard tyres that, that it comes on are quite good. I didn't have any issue with them. I did notice that you're pretty much on the edge of the front tyre whereas there's still quite a bit of the back tyre to go. Um, if this was my bike I'd be swapping these out with something a little bit stickier and with a slightly steeper profile on the front. Riding the Nightster on the open road is a blast. Totally get why people get into these Harleys and I could certainly see myself on one after years of not liking them. There's a certain charm, it's hard to describe, but they've got a lot of character. It's, it's uh, good fun to ride. Performance wise it was uh, better than I expected it to be. Uh, a little bit soft on the throttle with these standard pipes and air filter of course. I'm sure it could be opened up quite a bit more but more than enough power for everyday use and uh, I'm sure it was the pipe in there that will go a lot better. The brakes, not bad, a little bit vague, a little bit wooden feeling, uh, but they certainly haul you up. If you need to stop in a hurry you definitely need to use the back as well, uh, more than you would <clears throat> on the sort of bikes that I'm used to riding anyway, the sports bikes. 
it, it stops well enough just as I say it lacks a bit of feel. Gearbox is smooth and easy to use, a little bit clunky in the first, um, got a bit of an industrial feel about it, but I, it didn't miss any gears on me and, and I had no issue with it, five speed box. So the 2011 Harley Davidson Nightster 1200, would I have one? Yeah, if I had the money I'd have one. Um, wouldn't be my first choice of bike if I had to choose something else, I'd probably rather have a big Harley, but uh, certainly a cool little bike. Yeah, take one for a ride. Thanks for watching. I'm getting hot standing here in these leathers, so I'm going to go for a ride. See you later. Just while I was riding along I thought I forgot to mention the, the seating position and the, how I found it quite comfortable up until about an hour and uh, it's probably because I'm used to riding sports bikes and not having the weight on my bum but I just found I got a bit of a sore rear end. I was also going to try and sum up how what it's like to ride the bike and what it makes you feel but it's kind of hard to put into words. So, um, it's probably the best way to describe it is cool but you just got to try it for yourself. Uh, it's certainly an experience. Here we are back at home, bike safely back in the lounge.